Sermon Brands has produced many successful wallets over the years and continues to see the trends in the market. Their 5.0 version wallet here looks to take on the next wave of what we're looking for in functional wallets, so stick around. Welcome to Wallatopia. We appreciate you being here. Please go to wallatopia.info to register. You won't regret it. And remember, Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. So, with Serma Brands, they seem to progressively move their version numbers. This is the 5.0 version of their wallet, and it uh, looks like they're trying to keep it fresh. So, let's get into it. With Serma Brands, they always come in these uh, very nice boxes. Great texture here. I love the texture of this box, and it's a very tight box, meaning that uh, they don't waste a lot of space in here. It comes in this, uh, looks to be a cotton woven bag. Let's get the wallet out. Ah, there we go. Oh yeah, this is the Lux Blue. I really like this darker color here. This is really nice. Let's take a look here, real quick. Pockets in here. Did you notice they have a uh, pull strap? Oop, of course, we expect to find something there. More instructions. That's quite nice. And let's see. If there's anything else interesting here, we'll get into the review soon. But yeah, fold it over edges. Very nice. Now, as usual, onto the feature review, in this case, of the Sermon Brands 5.0 wallet. For the Sermon Brands 5.0 wallet, we looked at the exterior. We notice we have a quick access card slot here. We also can see that from the top down, we have yet another card slot, which is controlled by this pull strap. If we go to the interior, we'll notice that on the left, we have one and two card slots. We also have two slots here on the right, one for an ID in the front, another card slot behind it, and underneath both sides, we have more card capacity capability and places where you could put cash. And that is a quick review of the features of the Surin Brands 5.0 wallet. Now to the card and cash insertion test. So as you saw, I got nine cards in there, five slips of US currency. The end kind of poked out a bit, and I did put in uh, the 20 euro here. Anything, the 50 or 100, that uh, just doesn't quite work as well. And of course, it fits business cards without any problem. For a minimalist carry, I would say five cards, eight cards is reasonable. The company mentions uh, it can hold seven to nine. So I was kind of pushing the high end of that, but it still closed fine, but you notice it was like getting 0.7 inches in size. Um, and really eight to 10 bills is is uh, normal there. From a quality perspective, the company indicates it's full grain chrome tan leather. It is designed in California and made in China. And it has these very thin cut here. So you can understand that as it folds over, then it's sewn together. And that uh, is okay. I mean, that's a, a typical uh, construction for high volume mass produced wallets. And uh, it will, it was really dictated because of the thin cut of the leather that we have here. And of course, because we're seeing in here that it has, it has RFID. <laughs> And that's uh, throughout the wallet. So if you like that protection, great. I think it just kind of takes away from things and really isn't all that useful for wallets in, in general. Now it comes in seven colors. I really like this Lux blue color. It's quite nice. And it's priced at $30. And again, great price for what you get here. Usability is that it really is easy to use. Accessibility is good. And this particular version was funded on Kickstarter, like most all their wallets and how a lot of wallet manufacturers uh, get off the ground these days. It's well-designed functionality, nothing that stands out that's odd with this. And there, it has a 5.0 de designation, which means that it has a, a tremendous amount of functionality to it. Now, I wish the quick access uh, card slot here in the front did not have RFID in it, which it does, because it would then make it more useful for bus passes, for subway passes, hotel keys, tap cards if you wanted to put them there. It would really make it a lot easier to use. It measures 4.1 by 3 by 0.35, and it weighs 31 grams. 
It does have a one-year warranty, and as a mass manufacturer, Sermon Brands puts attention into things that elevate their brand despite being a mass manufacturer, like packaging, instructional design, warranty support, and a lot of thought into the design of what they have here. So it really is just a, a good base wallet, uh, and it's well-priced. So now let's get into the final score. For quality, a three, price of four, features of four, usability of four, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. If you want to see all the rankings for our wallets, go to walletopia.info slash rankings, or you can click on the button here, as well as any of these other videos you might find interesting around wallets like this or related to this. Keep watching, and we'll see you in the next review. Thanks, bye.